this to leave back again since my phone's like, well, God, let me just bring you all a little, just bring the camera a little closer to me. Ah, so yeah, I'm here to say that, um, this is not a Halloween special, although it might seem like it, but, yeah, like I said in those two videos, I'm mixed on Halloween. I want to tell you all the story of how I am mixed on Halloween. And, uh, and basically, I, like I told you all the story about calling my real father there for the first time in person. I'm going to tell you all now the story of how now I, of how I started hating Halloween now. Or being mixed feelings on Halloween. Well, I started hate. Well, I started hating Halloween, then I'm going to tell you probably the story of, of how I'm mixed on Halloween in part two. Because I'm going to split this video up in part two. In two parts. So, yeah. Alright, so. Go check out the video if you haven't seen it yet. So yeah, y'all, that was the beginning. So yeah, y'all, y'all know what's what now is is part two of my story of how I started disliking Halloween or being mixed on Halloween or something like that. As y'all know, I got this um, Guns N' Roses shirt. I do love rock and roll music, as I said in the last video, which y'all just saw a clip of. And uh, yeah, all I was gonna say is. I was going to do this on the end of this month, but but I noticed that I actually got that month in review video to do on October. So, as you all know, Halloween is on the ending of October. But, of course, we know in Mexico, they celebrate the land of the Day of the Dead, which is I learned from Coco, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. You guys know me. So, yeah. And... And... Basically, here's the story of how I'm mixed on Halloween. I already told you how I started loving Halloween. Then I started hating Halloween. Now I'm both. Now I'm going to tell you the story of how I started being mixed on Halloween. Okay. I used to be... I went... I used to... When I used to hate Halloween, and as I, you guys know, I used to be in a bad voice inside your head problem. Despite some great memories. That inside out and call my real father dad for the first time person helped me with. Which, by the way, he just got friendshiply married for his birthday this year. Congrats. Congrats. And also, I would like to say that all I said in part one was true, and all I'm going to say in here is, part, is true too. But, you guys know what I'm saying. Uh,. Basically, when I did not like Halloween, I did not want to go to this one city called, uh, I mean, one store called Halloween City. And, but my mom and stepdad, they forced me to do it. Sorry, there's something on the table. And that's how I started being mixed on Halloween, because I thought that, oh, I seen, I, I was stupid. I, I had a stupid mind back then at that time. So, um... Let me see something. Oh, okay. And I was a stupid mind back at the time. Since they have costumes from some of my favorite um movies and shows, characters and all that. And I thought that, okay, since I don't like Halloween, then I don't like those characters. Which is kind of a stupid mind and stupid brain set. But I am autism. I am autism, y'all. Because that's probably why I... Repeat myself a lot, trying to get comfortable. Sorry, y'all. So, yeah, um... And I do like scaring people, and I, but at the same time... Skeletons? I do love skeletons, so... And events, yeah. And I still got that... That playlist. Those two playlists that I said in the last video. But they've been both updated now. now so, yeah. Which is awesome, hope. Which is awesome Halloween songs and awesome Halloween commercials slash videos. Never mind that, y'all. So, yeah. There's some, like I said, there were some good things about Halloween, but thanks to what I saw 
and uh, what I told you all about in the last video, with that Joker faced, with that Joker faced ghost, tired as heck, making that face. I, with that, I did not like. That just ruined my experience on Halloween. I had a nightmare that night, y'all. Well, not particularly, because it was a nightmare about one of my favorite shows. But at the same time, it, I did have a nightmare. But of course, some people will say that the Monsters, Inc. films are... are uh, that the Monsters, Inc. films are Halloweenish. But I still love the Monsters, Inc. franchise. And I do love Ghost Rider films, but they have a skull in them, so that can't counts. But Coco was about the little Smaltzels, but they do have skeletons in there. I still love that one. And no, I'm repeating myself, but as I said early in this video, I am autism, and I, so yeah, and I kind of really respect, and I kind of did explain that in one of our, in one of my news for you guys videos, so yeah. So yeah, it's because I went to, the story of how I got mixed on Halloween is when I went to Hollywood, C Hollywood City, and I just decided to say, Holly, Halloween City, and, 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 well, I was forced to go, and, you know, you guys know, it just felt like, if I don't love these, if I don't love Halloween, then I don't, can't love those characters. Kind of stupid, but, I know it sounds stupid and controversial, but, I still love those characters, and I still love those movies, and shows and shorts, special Commercials, videos, music, food, drinks, friends, family. That's one thing I like about Halloween as well. Family connection and friends connection. So yeah, y'all. Alright. Stay tuned for my monthly review on Halloween of this year. And I'll see y'all later. And I might be editing. um, Like full on editing my last three monthly review series videos for this year. And I'll see y'all later. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my other social media accounts if you so choose. And I'll see y'all later. Especially the film slash roll guy. Out. And I still think y'all, and I still hope you all have a great Halloween.